early 1862, Union General Ulysses Grant started a campaign down the Mississippi to capture it and effectively split the South in two. In February, Grant gained a foothold for his campaign by driving Confederate forces out of Fort Donelson along the Tennessee River. He also, through this battle, solidified Union positions in Kentucky. In April, Confederate troops re entrenched near Corinth, Mississippi, a major railroad However, center. Grant's reinforced troops overran them and effectively took over western Tennessee and the major railroad center. Completing his campaign, Grant uh, sieged Vicksburg, Mississippi in 1863, deprived of food and supplies the Confederate Commander surrendered to Grant after two months. This victory effectively split the South into two. While the initial Southern plan was to fight a defensive war, Lee decided to invade the North to turn Northern public opinion against the war and to persuade European nations to recognize the South as a legal entity. Back in Maryland in September of 1862, the South invaded Northern Maryland. However, the North met the army in Antietam, which ended with the CSA retreating with one-third of their men dead in the single bloodiest day of the war. Lee attacked the North again in 1863, but this time in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. In a pivotal battle, General Meade drove Lee out of the North for good. From that point, no major battles were in the North, and the North, by winning, protected the majority of its populace. Many major battles took place in the South. There, the North tried to gain control of the Confederate capital, Richmond, and they also tried to demoralize the South through Sherman's march to the sea. At Fredericksburg, Virginia, Lee easily held off Union troops heading for Richmond, Virginia. This battle proved that the road to the capital would not be easy, and it also defended the, the capital. In an important battle that, prote that again protected the all-important capital, Richmond, Lee held off Union forces which moved to the west of Fredericksville and attacked the Confederates' left flank at Chancellorsville, Virginia. After capturing Atlanta, Northern General Sherman marched from Atlanta to Savannah, Georgia, destroying everything in his path. Through this, the southern morale and the war effort decreased substantially. Near the Appomattox Courthouse, General Lee was surrounded by remnants of a cavalry, but he was near supplies. He, Lee was gaining steady ground towards these supplies until General Grant arrived with reinforcements. Grant forced Lee to surrender, ending the Civil War.